okay guys welcome back so now let's begin to texture this properly as we should so starting from let me put this here so starting from starting from this piece this piece right here we're going to drop in we want to start with our wood texture so i'm going to drop in some wood textures in here so I go to my pointers, undo and pointer, go to layers, then I go to smart max, go to my smart max, the smart no, smart material. Under my smart material, I'm going to look for the wood. And I'm going to be using wood chess yeah it should be this one wood chess so i'll drag and drop this in here okay so then i'm going to add what are the black marks let me move this here i'll click on my poly fill click on the poly fill i'll choose mesh and i'll select this object okay that's fine and then the next thing i'm going to do is to create this pattern this golden pattern piece in here so how do i how would i go about doing that so i'm going to no i, I in let me show you i've already made that already so in in illustrator i've already created that pattern already so i'm loading that up so as you can see this this is the pattern I created in Illustrator. Zoom this back out. So this is the pattern I created in Illustrator. We put this this way. So I kind of fix them on the UV on the UVs of this piece in here of the use of this piece so i'm going to drop this in into my into substance painter now so i'll just click and drag this in here so i i, I already have that in here but if you want to bring yours in here you need to go to the undefined and make sure it's a texture and i'm going to drop it on project knife one so once you click that then click imports but i won't do that because i've already brought mine in here so now but before we before we use it we're going to let's go to the uh, our brush put this up here then we're going to create we're going to um go to our smart max again or type in bronze type in bronze i'll click and drag this in here I'll drop this on top like so drop this up here so you should apply to every single piece in here so i will temporarily add this so then okay yes okay let me review that then i'll add a max a bitmap max so i'll click on this and i'll search my i named it ornaments <laughs> Ornament. I'm going to be giving you guys some of this file to work with. Okay, so I'll click on this. So now it's supposed to be applying here, but there seems to be an issue. But if I turn this to the other side, you notice that it's applying at the back correctly as it should. So you can see applying to the back. So now do I get this to work on this on this other side also? So that's quite easy. All I have to do is to mirror this. So Clicking on, clicking on my marks, I'll go to, I'll add filter, I believe it should be on my marks, yes, and I'll do a mirror, type in mirror in here, okay, great, now as you can see now, it's mirrored on the other side, which is fine, but now I want this stuff to be engraved as in engraved engraved into this my wood so how would i go about doing that so i'm going to 
collapse i'm going to hide this for now i'll create a new fill layer on top of this with a new fill layer on top of this i would turn off color meta roughness and normal i'll leave the height then for my then let me name this uh, let me just name this pattern height and then in here i'm going to drop in bitmap max the same bitmap max in here oh better still better still better still i can come in here and copy copy max come in here and paste is my paste uh paste into map then uh, no, 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 you can see nothing nothing has been applied now why because i need to set this my heights info so i'm going to be using something around minus three minus three seems fine okay that's fine then i can turn this back on so now this is applying correctly as I would want it to. So you can see this is fine. Okay. And I, you can decide to blow this out if you want to. Let me okay, let me let me blow out this my height info a bit more. So I'll add a filter. Or add the blow. Or type in blow. Add the blow in here. Now that seems a bit much. Maybe just a little like so should be fine. Something like that should be fine. So now that I have this in here now, next thing I'm going to do is to I want to kind of let me temporarily hide this my height information. Now I want to temporarily break up this pattern a bit more even though it looks a bit broken up already i still want to break this up just a little bit more so to to do that i'm going to let me go in here i'm going to put this in in, in, in a new group so control g to group this to get to group that let me name this bronze then in here I'll go to my smart max. On that smart max, I want to use my paint paint. I want to use this paint old cracks. Yes, paint old yeah, paint old small cracks. So I will drag and drop this in here. So as you can see, they are breaking up the surface. So all I have to do now is to kind of just invert this. I'll go to my max and I'll invert this. I'll do an invert on this. So that's kind of breaking up the surface a bit more. Oh, okay. Yeah. Breaking up the surface a bit more. Um, if I should okay, where is my let me come in here? Nope, nope, okay. But I'm sure you can see, you can spot the difference. If I should invert this now, it's just the inverse of this I'm having. You can decide to control this a bit more. Let me make this a bit more intense then invert this so you can see so then i can go back and turn this back on so i'm breaking up that surface a bit more not bad at all it is fine so now so now that we are we are in here that's why in here okay. can decide to work a bit more on the wood if i should open that folder for the wood okay my wood base i'm going to my wood base and add a filter in there 
Let me add a few tags. So I want the few tags to affect just the just my color info. Uh, filter, filter. I'm going to, okay. Um, I'm go to the filters in here. Color correct. Yes, under this, I'll be using. Can you set to use E on saturation or color balance? Okay, let's use this color correction. So I'll drop drop my color correction in here. No, let me use you on saturation. It's just do H S L. Yeah, there it is. Uh, okay, let's start playing with some of this to have this and more reddish tone that's too much okay Somewhere around almost there, just looking for something uh, close to my red. Let me find the red. Okay. Too much. Somewhere around here should be fine. Let's see. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a little bit too much. Let me take this down. Yeah, somewhere around here should do just fine. I think somewhere around here should be better. Okay. That's fine. So uh, then carrying on, I would go. Let me coll collapse this. Uh, let's let's play a bit more with this. So you can see some kind of blood or oil stain in here. So I would let me go. Let me go right on top of this. I'll create a new fill layer. Create a new fill layer for this. Using, let me see if you can pick the color from this. Um, somewhere around here with a more reddish tone to it. Okay, so somewhere around here should be fine. Then for the roughness, okay, you should have some. Metallic properties. Okay. Then I'm going to add some a roughness to this. In typing grunge. Grunge. Um. Now this should be fine. Okay. Okay. So then I'm going to go to my add the black marks. Go to my mesh view. Select just this piece. Should be affecting just that piece. Then I go to my smart marks again. Smart marks. Going to be using. Let me do. 
let's go for a death let's look for one that should work correctly for us in here death splashes death splashes seems to be a good option for this so i'll drop this in here oh undo that undo that let me group this do a group in this blood splatter and then i can drag drag this those splashes in here okay so now i can begin to play a bit more with the settings that i have let me do ctrl d on this i'll hide this so let me work with this let me make this a bit more reddish push this a bit more to the red okay okay there's up a bit more okay that seems too much maybe down okay somewhere around there should be fine yeah somewhere around there seems fine then we can begin to play with the with some of the settings in here that we have so i'll go to my I'll go to this let's see what this okay this is giving us something more obvious let's see what only this does I don't know if this thing does much this first one on top. I don't know if it does much this first one on top let's let's see what that does is on sub zone zone subtract let's put this on multiply let's see normal okay okay on normal we seem we seem to have something in here must to have something in here which looks looks quite nice if you ask me then turning this on seems you can only use one okay i think we could just stick with this this one looks fine already this one looks fine already, as you can see. Not bad at all. Though we still need to work on this a bit more, but for now it looks fine. So maybe while we are in here, we can add some kind of height information to this. Maybe a bit of height. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit of height in there okay and then, then now that we're in here we can run, we can do something like this we can okay we have something okay we have this we have this um so i have, I have an idea in my head right now we can duplicate this i'll duplicate this then hide hide this then Okay, let me leave this on. Then in here, I can turn on. Okay, let me turn this back on. In here, I can just go into the into our color and kind of make this make this one a brighter tone. Then go into the grunge and begin to randomize this randomize this okay so just to have a bit more variation in there though, though we won't be leaving this as it is we still need to kind of blend this back in so i'll go to the previous one i can go in here and blend this back in blend this back in Around somewhere like so. Then now for okay, let me see. Let me hide this. Now this one looks properly blended in. 
it was properly blended in then for this I'm going to I'm going to use my let me go into my marks my marks I'm going to add the paint layer now choose a brush go to my brushes go to my brushes and then I'll use let me use let me just use a dirt brush what does this let me see how this looks like see the preview uh, can I get a preview in here my preview seems to be working really slow so let me let me just use this brush use this brush take this down click X to switch this to black now I can begin to erase some of this Use my stand begin to lag. Just load up something.